Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we're solving Z is for Zipper by Philip Newman. This is the gas puzzle from September 30th, 2024, and it is a zipper line Sudoku. So what does that mean? So we're placing the digits 1 through 9, once each in each row, each column and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And in addition, we have these purple lines in the grid, and along each of these purple lines we have pairs of digits that are equally distant from the center cell of the line. So for example, on this line, this is the center cell highlighted in orange. This pair is equidistant from that center cell, and this pair is equidistant from that center cell. And the rule about zipper lines is that each pair of digits that have that same distance, like these two pink digits, have to sum to whatever value appears in the central cell. So 4 plus whatever this is has to sum to whatever is in orange. So let's solve it. So I see an 8 on the end of a zipper line, and the only digit that can be 8 plus something else is going to be 9, so I'll place a 9 there. 8 plus 1 is 9. Here I have a 7, so this must be either 1 or 2, because those are the only two numbers that can sum with 7, but because the central digit here cannot be a 9, since I just placed a 9, that now has to be an 8, making this a 1. I have a 6 plus a 3 here, which makes that a 9, and so this is either 1 and 8 or 4 and 5. These are 1 and 8 or 4 and 5. That can't be a 4. This also can't be an 8, because if it was an 8, the only digit I could add to it to make a valid Sudoku digit would be 1. And I definitely can't put 1 in its corresponding spot, so that also is not going to be an 8. And also it just struck me, good job Clover, that there's an 8 in the column, so there's a second reason for you that that can't be an 8. This cell can't be 1 or 5, because there's a 1 and 5 in the column. This also can't be an 8, and again, for legitimate reasons this time, because I can't add a 1 to it to make 9, and I can't add anything bigger to it because it would end up as 10 or greater, and that is not allowed in Sudoku. So this cannot be an 8, so that's a 4. So now whatever this is has to be bigger than 5. So that's 6, 7, 8, or 9, and I can make some eliminations because it sees an 8 and a 9. If this is a 6, it is 5 plus 1, and 4 plus 2. If it is a 7, it is 5 plus 2 and 4 plus 3. And I don't know yet which of those I'm dealing with, so we're going to have to leave that for the time being. One of these cells contains an 8 by Sudoku in the column. This can't be it, because then we would have 4 plus 8 equals 12 in the middle. So that will be my 8. And now what are my remaining digits in this column? So I still need a 3, a 7, and a 9. This can't be a 7 or 9, because I can't sum either of those with 4 either. So that has to be a 3, making 7 our central digit. And by Sudoku, we can finish this off. The 7 we just placed there tells us that's a 6, which means we are in the 1-2 case. The 1 I just placed gives us a 5 here, and 7 is 5 plus 2 on this line. Now I need to make a sum of 8 here vertically without using a 1 or a 2, so that will have to be 3 plus 5. These digits are 2, 3, and 4, so that one's going to be a 2, that will be a 3, 4 pair, and these digits will be 6 and 9, these will be 2 and 5 to finish the region. I still need an 8 over here, it definitely can't go there because I can't sum it with a 2. This column is starting to look fairly restricted, so these need to be 4, 6, and 7. And so this digit, whatever it is, definitely has to be greater than 4. My options here are 5, 6, 8, and 9, though, so those are the only digits I'm able to use there anyway, so let's leave that for now. How about... I only have three zipper lines, really, remaining to deal with. Um, hmm. So... And this is a blind solve for me. It's a little unusual for gas solves, but I have not tested this one ahead of time. Five has to be in one of these cells. Let's look at maybe the central digit along this zipper line in particular. So the only things it can be, because it definitely has to be greater than two, are going to be four, five, and seven. Everything else is ruled out by this. It can't be four because four is two plus two and I can't put a two on the end of the line. So this could be either a 3 if this is 5, or a 5 if this is 7. And 5 is already used, so that'll be a 3 with a 5. 
That makes this a 1-4 pair to sum to 5. And that resolves my 1 and 8, which is helpful. I get a 1 by Sudoku. That's a hidden 1 in region 6. These are going to be 2, 4, and 7. So I know this can no longer be 5, because the minimum here is going to be 2 plus 4, which would be 6. This also can't be a 7, because 7 plus any of these digits on the top would be too large. So 7 is over here. However, this also can't be 7, because whatever goes on this end, I only have high digits remaining in the column. In fact, I know exactly what goes in this cell, because I have a 7, 8, and 9 here, and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the column, so that will be a 6. And I can eliminate 8 from there. This is 6 plus something, and the only small enough candidate is 2, so that's 6 plus 2 to sum to 8. This is now going to be a 4, making this my 7. So these two digits have to be 4 and 4, otherwise we'd be going for 4 and 6 or 4 and 7, both of which are too big. So that's 4 and 4, summing to 8. So I can eliminate 4 there. These will be 5, 6, and 9 in some unknown combination. And I need to make a sum of 8 without using a 1 or a 4, so that is either 2 and 6 or 3 and 5, which is impossible because neither 3 nor 5 can go in that cell. So that's going to be a 2-6 pair to finish my total of 8. And finally, we have two more zipper lines remaining. This has to sum to 8 without using a 2 or a 1-7 pair, so that will have to be 3-5. Nice symmetry there with the right side of the grid. And this needs to be 6-7 or 8 to sum with 1 to make 7-8 or 9. It can't be 8 by Sudoku, therefore this cannot be 9 by Sudoku. This also can't be 8 by Sudoku. So here's my 8 in the column, which makes that 7, and resolves the 7-9, which kind of bounces back and resolves the 6-7. The 9 gives me a 6 here. That's now going to be a 2-5 that's resolved. This all resolves via Sudoku. It's a 3-4 pair remaining in the region. Perfect. And these will need to be 3 and 5 to finish this row. This needs to be a 6 to finish this row, and this will need to be a 9 to finish its row. Now let's just finish off using classic Sudoku. We need a 7 in this row, it goes here. We need an 8 and a 9 to finish the row, they go here. And then the last digit in this region is a 6. These will be a 2 and a 9, respectively. Here I need a 4, a 7, and a 9, and they'll go there. And here I need a 3 or 5, and here I need a 3 or 5, but this actually resolves because I have a 5 in the row. And that's going to be a 2, and these will be 1 and 4. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Z is for zipper. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I like zipper lines. It's a little bit of a newer variant, or at least newer to come to popularity, and I've been really enjoying it. Hope you liked that one too. If you'd like to try it yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video, and I will catch you again in three days. See you then.